narrow passages and fairways in rivers and canals where the navigable depth or width is comparatively small in relation to the draft and the breadth of transiting ships are called restricted waters. The maneuverability of ships navigating through such restricted waters will be affected by peculiar hydrodynamic effects that are different from those when ships navigate in broad and deep waters. These peculiar hydrodynamic effects that affect the maneuverability of navigating ships are the shallow water effects, ship squat, interaction and bank effect. In this video, we intend to present the shallow water effect and ship squat. When a ship proceeds, surrounding water is displaced towards the sides and bottom, making a relative flow against the ship's advance. The advancing hull submerges deeper compared to when she's dead in the water. This changes the subsequent trim because the water around the hull flows a little faster compared with the ship's speed and the hydraulic pressure decreases. This phenomenon is called ship squat. We shall see this phenomenon with a ship model in a tank test. The fruit number is an essential concept for a model tank test. To run a model at a speed corresponding exactly to that of a real ship, a ship speed is applied using this equation which gives the same fruit number to different model lengths and the comparable real ships. Here you see a ship in a tank test. Let's take a look at the sinkage of the ship at her bow and stern. Let's also look at the subsequent trim change running in deep water by using a ship model in a tank test. This is the bow of a fully loaded small ship running in deep water where the ratio of the depth to the ship's draft is 5.0 at 11 knots. This shows the condition of the stern of the same ship running at 11 knots. This is the bow condition when the ship speed is increased to 13 knots. This shows the condition of the stern of the same ship at a ship speed of 13 knots. These curves are drawn based on the test results in deep water. As you can see, the sinkage of the bow and stern change like this as the ship speed increases. The value in this graph represents the ratio of sinkage to the ship length. However, the sinkage at the stern of a merchant ship under normal speed is generally very small. By contrast, the sinkage at the bow appears larger compared with that at the stern. As you see here, a ship underway tends to show trim by the head. Now, using a tank test, we shall take a look at how sinkage at the bow and stern change when a ship proceeds in shallow water. This is a model of a small ship running in shallow water. The ratio of water depth to draft is 1.5 at a speed of 9 knots. This is the stern condition at a speed of 9 knots. This is the bow condition when speed is increased to 10 knots without changing any other conditions.
This is the stern condition at a speed of 10 knots. As you can see, the sinkage appears larger at both bow and stern in shallow water. Now we shall see how sinkage changes depending on the speed when a ship proceeds in shallow water. For ship speed with a corresponding frued number less than 0 0.25, sinkage at the bow is greater than that at the stern as the frued number increases. However, sinkage at the bow stops suddenly and that at the stern finally increases when changing trim by the stern as the frued number approaches 0 0.25 which is close to the values in high-speed areas. We shall see this effect in shallow water and that in deep water. Sinkage at the bow in shallow water, which reaches 2% of the length of a ship, is larger than that in deep water. So, why do these phenomena happen? In shallow water, where the bottom clearance is comparatively small, the ratio of the horizontal flow along both sides of the ship increases because the current towards the bottom is restricted. The hydraulic pressure along both sides of the hull decreases. As the nearer the hull is to the surface flow, the faster the rate accelerates, and the water level around the ship drops considerably. For this reason, sinkage at the bow and stern and subsequent trim change become larger in shallow water than in deep water. We should be careful that sinkage at the bow and change of trim become greater when a ship runs in shallow water. <laughs> 